What's up everybody, it's Megan with Project Freya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am a small Twitch streamer that has been chronicling her journey of streaming with anxiety and PMDD. If you don't know what that is, more info here. So May is a special month for me because it is the one year anniversary of me starting this streaming YouTube everything journey. A year of it. Holy cow. And next month will be a year of affiliate status on Twitch, which holy crap. The fact that there's people that have been supporting me with this whole journey for a year. It just doesn't seem real. Like, holy cow. <laughs> But here we are a year in and boy, oh boy, have I changed? Has my content changed? Has everything ever changed in, in a year? It, it for sure has been a long journey that sometimes feels like it's been more than a year. Sometimes I'm surprised to see that it is a year. <laughs> I, in this past year, have come so far out of my shell, not only as a content creator, but in my life, like in general, this constant challenge to my norms with my anxiety, just I feel like it has impacted my outside relationships as well. Uh, just my ability to function almost like to be able to communicate with people outside of the stream and inside of the stream has just grown so much in the past year. Um, I have learned so much about just who I am as a person as well, because a, a big part of streaming really is finding out what your audience is like. It's great to try and be friends with everyone that comes into your stream, but long term, that's just not a realistic thing. Being a place for everyone is kind of like a place for no one. So in the journey to find like what exactly is my audience, I've also been on the journey of finding myself. At one point in therapy, the therapist had explained to me that I had lived on a point of like basic survival needs for so long that I never really got to open the door into who am I? Because those things just weren't important when it was, you know, more serious stuff going on in life. So actually sitting down and getting to know myself. And I don't know if anybody else has been through this. This is something I probably would have liked to ask if I had continued therapy is this little voice in the back of my head to silence things that I enjoy. So we actually have a Disney trip upcoming, which I'm so, so excited for because I've never been. I've always wanted to go. I'm almost 30 years old and I feel like a little kid because I'm so freaking excited to like go see all the princesses. And at first, my natural instinct was just to like be embarrassed that I love the princesses. Like I love happy squishmallows and stuffed animals in general. They make me happy. And it's kind of like an embarrassing thing to tell people about. At least that's how I used to feel. And I don't know exactly where that feeling of like shame and guilt over things that I enjoy came from. I, I, I'm not really sure where that began, but this has been something else that I've kind of learned over the past year is that um, people come here because they like me. So suppressing who I am is kind of like not really the point. I have just kind of been bursting with this excitement to like go see all the Disney princesses. <laughs> Jasmine is my favorite. Who is your favorite Disney princess? Tell me below. But yeah, so a whole year, I feel like a whole new person than who I was when I came into this. I feel like it has given me so much more than I ever thought it would. Uh, in general, I'm very much the type of person to want to challenge my anxiety myself. Like, I've always wanted to push the boundaries of it, to push myself out of my comfort zone, because I know that's really how you defeat it, is facing it head on. I've always found pride and like accomplishment in doing things like that. So when I started streaming, like I had like a sort of set expectation of just how much I would improve by facing this fear head on. And boy, I remember when I sat down and like had this conversation with my husband about starting YouTube, like talking to a Twitch chat is one thing because there's usually like somebody on the other side, right? But 
to sit down and talk to just myself. I know I'm talking to you, but like, you know what I mean, right? It felt so awkward and it made me so anxious and panicky and I, I've just grown so much because at this point I can just sit here and uh, like this ain't scripted. I'm just talking to you. Growth and change. <laughs> but yeah, whole freaking year and anytime somebody resubs and it's like another month has gone by, I'm like, holy crap, I can't believe it's been that long, but it it really kind of has been a long journey. It's it's such a weird feeling, but I, I, I uh, yeah, I'm very grateful. I don't want to like get all like people shy and like emotional about it, but <laughs> Like, thank you to everyone who's been here through, like, the whole one-year journey. And, and that's not everyone. I, I will say one of the weirdest things is, uh, and maybe some others can relate to this, I'm curious. You know, when you, I think it's like the first 15, it's like the first 10 or 15 people that sub to you get the, um, this first badge next to their name uh, to show they were like one of the first people ever to sub to you. You'll never see those people again. And maybe you will. Maybe you are that kind of community that you had your shit figured out from the beginning and props to you. But like as I grew and found myself, like some people, I wasn't for them. And like that's totally fine. You're going to grow and change and find a new audience. But it is kind of weird to see like all the people that were there in the beginning. Most of them are gone now. And I kind of just wonder how everybody's doing. <laughs> uh, I recognize that I have changed a lot. Uh, some of it, you know, was a step back while I found myself and some of it has been step forward. Steps forward? Yeah, thanks to those who have actually been around all along, but to those who supported me in the beginning, thank you also. And I hope you're doing well. I, I, I rewatched my last video and I noticed that my action items were I wanted to create better YouTube content, which I will admit YouTube is kind of like the area that I struggle with the most because I recognize that there are things that I can give you advice on, like, you know, surviving a 12 to 24 hour stream and, you know, maybe some things to avoid and mistakes that I've made. But there's only a certain extent to which I can give advice to you as somebody who sits at five average viewers that might not be where you are looking for advice from and that's understandable there's only so much content i can make about my dogs you know so i'm still trying to figure out exactly where my niche is as far as youtube content uh, i do enjoy making these monthly updates videos but again they're sort of like a niche thing and I only make them once a month. I don't really think I could do them every week. I mean, I don't know, maybe I could, I, I don't know, but it feels right. Like one month feels about the good point to make these update videos. So as far as the rest of my content, I'm still kind of like trying to find exactly my place on the platform. So I can't really say that I've met that smart goal yet, but it is a work in progress. Something else that I have been trying to like work on lately and get get good at like is <laughs> this is gonna sound embarrassing and I'm gonna sound like an old lady, but is Twitter. So when I was in high school, I used to use it a lot, but it was a lot different back then. I feel like it was um, even simpler of a platform at the time. I, I wouldn't say like I was a huge like influencer or anything in high school school but I had a decent like following and like people that talk to me but coming back to it I can't seem to get to a point where people notice that I'm trying to interact with them and I, I don't know like Maybe I just don't know how to work Twitter. Maybe I'm not looking for the right thing. Maybe I'm just really not interesting and that's fine too, but I just, I don't get it. So I really want to figure out making friends and supporting other streamers and stuff like that and supporting my friends on Twitter. I just don't, I don't know how to do that. So we'll, we'll check in next month and see, um, if I've gotten any better at it? Is that the right word? I don't even know. <laughs> I have still been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight over the past month. It's just a game I enjoy and I've liked the direction like the Rift has taken this time. And I like that I have actually conned, I mean convinced some people to join me. So I now have more friends playing with me than I ever have. Remember to keep that balance of talking to your friends in Discord while streaming and talking to your chat. I, I think maybe I just need to pick one day. This is too, Megan. One day where I do play in actual chat with friends and let the other days just be time for me to interact with the chat because I, I think that's kind of where my disconnect is right now. Uh, but honestly, the past few days of my life have just been absolutely consumed by the Mass Effect Legendary Edition that just came out. For those of you who don't have any idea, uh, Mass Effect is my favorite all-time game series. It has just been a blast to see my favorite game like 
a decade later, like remastered and looking absolutely gorgeous. And uh, chat has been enjoying watching me be so happy, which makes me happy that they're happy that I'm happy. And it's a happiness spiral and oh my God. So yeah, I know it is like a drastic change from like the horror of Dead by Daylight, but chat's been vibing with it. I'm happy with it. So that's what I've been doing for the past few days. Love the game to death. Hope y'all stick with me so that we can keep making Paragon decisions together because Paragon Shepherd is best Shepherd. My goals for this month, uh, I am making this video a little late into the month time like totally slipped away from me uh but that leads me to my number one goal for myself is to really stick to my planning i have um, a happy planner which i've mentioned a few times in the past but i have not been sticking to it i just can't get myself to do it i don't know why but i want to force myself i need some like sort of method to hold myself accountable but i want to get back into planning so that i can make my videos in a timely fashion and like do everything else in my life in a timely fashion I want to get back into planning so that I don't make a video like this this late again. I want to get a little bit better at uh, maneuvering Twitter, as I mentioned before, but kind of like all my social medias, I feel like I go through phases, like especially on Instagram, where I'm like content, 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 month of nothing, right? So consistency and like educating myself on how to be better at other platforms. Um, the last thing which I forgot to mention earlier is to switch my schedule around. So I actually, for those of you who don't know, I would stream from 5 p.m. Eastern time to around nine o'clock, which was pretty late for a lot of U.S. people. Uh, most of my U.S. based viewers uh, would come in later, uh, but most of those people have kind of fallen off. And I've noticed that since I've done a few streams in the daytime, it has been actually more interactive and I enjoy a lot having free time after the stream to kind of unwind and have time to myself. So we'll just make the third actionable goal to review my schedule and pick one that works good for me and my viewers. So that's really all I have for this month's update. I mean, it is like a lot, but also a little, I don't know. Yeah. So don't forget, tell me who your favorite Disney. If you don't have a princess, that's fine. Who's your favorite Disney character? Because I'm so freaking hyped for Disney. Um, we'll probably do IRL stream there to an extent because like I want to also enjoy it but I want to share some of my joy with you guys make sure you check me out on twitch.tv slash project Freya link is in the description below don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel I really want to get a custom URL I know that seems petty but like ugh. and uh, leave this a thumbs up if you like this kind of content so I know to keep doing it have a wonderful day I love you mean it and I'll see you in the next one